great pursuit by Jalen Smith. Big number 54. There's not many linebackers in this league that can run the way that Jalen Smith can. Cowboys linebacker Jalen Smith has always been a game changer on the field, but the former Notre Dame star has even loftier goals beyond the white lines. And that's to be a life changer through his Minority Entrepreneurship Institute, which last summer hosted a Shark Tank style venture capital competition for minority investors in his home state of Indiana. Jalen Smith, Dallas Cowboys and MEI Visionary. With this competition, ultimately, what do you hope to accomplish? I'm creating a, a marketplace for minorities, black and brown, providing them with the three things, the financial funding, the mentorship, and their strategic planning. My vision was wanting to be able to close the economic and educational gap. So that's why I started the MEI. The idea came to Smith during his junior season at Notre Dame. As one of the nation's top college players, he had planned to use the NFL as his platform for change. But on January 1st, 2016, that opportunity was nearly taken from him. And I'm sure this is Jalen Smith's worst nightmare, and this was already going to be his last game. Smith tore two knee ligaments and found his draft status in doubt. You know, for me, about to be a, a top five pick, I was just like, why? Like, why now? You know, out of all times, why now? It was tough because I was vulnerable. But it's a part of humanity, you know? So for me, I just had to embrace it. Some questioned if Smith would ever play again because of nerve damage. But one team was willing to take a chance on him. With the 34th pick in the 2016 NFL Draft, the Dallas Cowboys select Jalen, it's Jerry Jones with the Dallas Cowboys. How you doing, Jerry Jones? Well, we're doing fine, and it's great to be talking to a Dallas Cowboy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, listen, uh, we're excited. You've got a lot of support around this place. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, sir. You got it. All right now. <laughs> Tears of joy gave way to buckets of sweat over the next year as Smith sat out his rookie season to rehab his injury. I tell you one thing, I worked, and I worked, and I worked. I didn't make no excuses. It was just about progressing each week to better myself up for the long run. As you look back on it that year out, how do you think that impacted you in a way that you might not have realized even at that time? The, the IQ I have now is light years ahead of what would have happened had I been a top three pick, X amount of dollars right away. I learned so much about being a professional, business ownership and development. I had time to be able to put together a budget plan for myself, acquiring the right mentors. It just attests to the business knowledge that I was able to gain because I was able to put more focus into it. When you go through that year and you don't play and now you come into 17, is there a nervousness or an angst having been out so long? I wasn't nervous. What I kept telling myself was just get aligned, do my job, and play fast. Tell me the moment that you felt you were back to being an elite player. Thanksgiving Day, it's 2017. And right there with him is Jalen Smith. You see Jalen Smith's speed there. Second play of the game by Smith. More so than the actual plays I made, but just my movement and my instincts. That's when I knew, like, I still got it. Here it come. Did you ever doubt this kid would be able to come back after the knee and nerve issues? I actually saw him up there every day. He works really hard. You root for kids like this. He's got a great attitude, great spirit about him. You want him to be successful. Smith's improvement would continue into 2018 with him playing a key role on one of the league's top defenses. Last summer, his hard work on and off the field resulted in a degree from Notre Dame. And a $64 million contract extension from the Cowboys. While some focused on what the money could do for him, Smith thought about how it could make a difference in communities like the one he grew up in, in Fort Wayne. The MEI, there's no better place to start it than my hometown. 
you know, what we're taught in this community is that, you know, the only way we can make it out is by being an athlete. And it's, uh, it's so wrong and it's so mis misleading. So the MEI is going to do some great things. Uh, I got about 70 kids coming out throughout the community to be able to witness the venture pitch from these five young minorities. Approximately two out of three renters want to own, but can't. It's simple. We're right to own, but better. I just, I just want to say I love your conviction and the uh, presentation. So without further ado, our winner for this evening, Murray Ho. Tonight is huge, I think, for myself, but really for the company. 2% of minority founders receive funding compared to their white counterparts. So the numbers are pretty bad. So to have someone that has quote unquote made it and coming back to give back to the community is really huge. He's not only talking about it, but he's putting his money where his mouth is. Smith has pledged up to $2.5 million over the next decade to help aspiring minority entrepreneurs through his MEI showcase. This venture competition is something that will be global. Next year, we'll go to Dallas. The year after, um, you know, we'll choose a city. It's about making that difference. It's about closing, like I said, that educational and that economic gap. I just wanted to thank everyone for coming out. Just a wonderful time and, and being able to uh, really instill greatness into Fort Wayne. This is my true purpose beyond athletics, and I'm passionate about it. I don't want to be remembered as just a great athlete or just a great football player. I want to be so much more. This equality stuff matters. So you got to start somewhere. <laughs>